hello guys and welcome back to this channel today we are going to continue solving questions on probability this happens to be the third question in a game a player throws a die and tosses a coin if the coin lands heads he scores four times the number on the die if the coin lands tails he scores five times the number on the die e Write down the sample space of the experiment. BI. List the event A, scoring more than 20. And then II, the probability of event A occurring. So let's solve this problem together. Now from the question, we are told that a player throws a die and tosses a coin. Now if the coin lands heads, he scores four times the number on the die. So if the coin lands heads, he scores four times the number on the die. And if the coin lands steals, he scores five times the number on the die. So if the coin lands steals, then he scores five times the number on the die. So A, we are going to write down the sample space of the experiment. So in writing down the sample space of the experiment, we are going to construct a table on the possible outcomes of tossing a coin against the possible outcomes of throwing a die. Now when you throw a die, the number of possible outcomes that can occur are 6. So you can either have a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. And when you toss a coin, the possible outcomes that can occur, you can have heads or tails. Now, assuming that the player tosses the coin and it lands heads. Now, if he throws the die and he gets a 1, then it means that we are going to multiply 4 by 1 to get 4. Because we are told that if the coin lands heads, then he scores four times the number on the die. So we are going to have a head and then four. Now if the coin lands heads and the number on the die is two, then we are going to multiply four by two to give eight. So here also we are going to have heads and eight, heads and twelve because 4 times 3 is 12, heads and 16, heads and 20, heads and 24. Now assuming that he tosses the coin and it lands steals, and the number on the die is 1, then it means that we are going to multiply 1 by 5 to give us 5. So this becomes tails 5, tails 10, Tails 15, tails 20, tails 25, and then tails 30. So now let's write down the sample space of the experiment. So the sample space for this experiment, we have heads 4, heads 8, Heads 12, Heads 16, Heads 20, Heads 24, Tails 5, Tails 10, Tails 15, Tails 20, tails 25, and then tails 
30. So this is the sample space for this experiment. So let's solve for B, BI. We are going to list the event A scoring more than 20. Now for the heads, 4 is less than 20, 8 is less than 20, 12 less than 20, 16 less than 20, 20 is the same as 20, and then we have 24 more than 20. So we have heads, 24, and then for the tails, 5 is less than 20, 10 less than 20, 15 less than 20, 20 is equal to 20. 25 is more than 20, so we have tails 25 and then tails 30. So this is set A which contains the list of events scoring more than 20. Now let's solve for BII, the probability of event A occurring. Now the number of ways that event A can occur is 3. We have 1, 2, 3 and the number of elements in the sample space is 12. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the probability of event A occurring is equal to the number of ways that event A can occur divided by the total number of elements in the sample space. So that is equal to 3 over 12 3 goes into itself once into 12 four times so we have the probability of event a occurring to be 1 over 4 now let's solve question 4 so for question number 4 akos has three test books on her decks they are mathematics chemistry and physics books Kwesi also has three test books on his desk. They are mathematics, biology, and physics books. Now, a thief steals a book at random from the table of each of them. Construct a table for the possible test books the thief stole. So, we are going to construct a table for the possible test books the thief stole. Let's solve the question together. So let M, C, P, and then B denote mathematics, chemistry, physics, and biology test books so we have a course and then quizy So a course has mathematics, chemistry, and physics books. So mathematics, chemistry, and physics books. And then Kwesi has mathematics, biology, and physics books. So mathematics, biology, and physics books. Now when the thief comes to the table of each of them, for the first row, he can either steal a mass test book from Kwesi and then a mass test book from Akos, a mass test book from Kwesi and then a chemistry test book from Akos, a mass test book from Kwesi and a physics test book from Akos. Now on the second row, he can either steal a biology textbook from Kwesi 
and a math textbook from Akus, a biology textbook from Kwesi, and a chemistry textbook from Akus, a biology textbook from Kwesi, and a physics textbook from Akus. On the third row, we have physics textbook and mathematics textbook, physics textbook, chemistry textbook, physics textbook, and a physics textbook. So this is the table for the possible textbooks that the thief can steal when he comes to the table of each of them.